Hi, welcome back to CentralValleyTalk.com with Mike Briggs and Athena. I have here with me Susie Harder. She's actually my neighbor, my friend, <laughs> and she's the speech. Thanks for um, having us. Speech. Oh my God, this is amazing. And Susie texted me or emailed me or something the other day and said, "Hey." What can we do to talk about October 22nd, National Stuttering Day, or is it... Inter is it's it International Stuttering Awareness Day coming up. Mm -hmm. International Stuttering across Awareness the world. Day. We're celebrating across the world. <laughs> I had no idea there was such a day, and I think this is amazing. So I said to Susie, let's have you on the air. Let's talk about this. It's funny because when I was a kid, I did go through a little stage of stuttering, mm -hmm. and I don't know how I overcame it. I just did. It was like this very short period of time. Right. And a lot of kids do go through a period of stuttering, and that makes it tricky for parents yeah. and pediatricians to know what to do. Yes. And kind of like, when do we do something? Yes. When, you know, kind of, um, what's our plan? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I work but with I a lot of families like, in that little window of time. I didn't even have that, and somehow I got over it, but I know there's a lot of kids that can't get over it that need a speech pathologist like yours. So you started a center mm -hmm. for kids and teens. Do you take adults too? Is it mm -hmm. mainly just, okay, mm -hmm. Adults stutter? Adults, yep. So kids, teens, adults. Um, so the goal cool. of the center is to be a resource for the Valley. And yeah. So um, we do individual types of yep. sessions. We do group sessions once a month for kids. And so they can meet other kids who stutter because it's not something yeah. that, um, because it's low incidence, a child might be at an elementary school or high school and not know anyone else who stutters and it can feel so isolating. Absolutely. Um, and then they're all in there stuff. together. We do, yeah, just a lot of kind of outreach and support for teachers, speech pathologists, parents. Um, in the valley and, and within just California in general. I know a doctor, well, he's like a PA nurse practitioner, and he would never talk to me. And then all of a sudden, one night, he had a couple of drinks and he started talking to me and he stuttered. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, N that's, he and was clamming up with yeah. me. And the complexity no, of it, and one of the reasons that I encourage parents to get support for kids is that. The one thing we want kids to do is to be themselves and yeah. to use their voice and yes. to say what it is that they're, yes. you know, if they have an idea, we want them to participate in class and share yes. that with a group. We want um, kids to feel confident and feel heard and that if the plan ends up being, oh, it's easier to not talk, then we want to gently kind of encourage a different plan and well, the, yeah. you know and, and as parents I gotta we talk. want our kids to be happy yeah. and you know talking and expressing yourself is such a part of that so absolutely mm -hmm. so well is there anything so if if parents are watching right now and they have a child that stutters tell us about you know this the Central Valley Stuttering Center mm -hmm. and what parents um, maybe should know to work with their kids or yeah. at your center yeah I would say the first thing that I would want parents to know is that more than focusing on what's not going well, yeah. focusing on being a cheerleader for your child and yeah. advocate is and wonderful. Encouraging. Catching the things that are going well is the way to build confidence, not necessarily catching the things that aren't going well. Yeah. Um, and another piece is that if if it's feeling like there isn't hope or, you know, I'm, I'm discouraged or my child is discouraged, you haven't found the right people to support your, yes. your child and yes. you don't have the right team yet um, because it shouldn't be kind of a one-stop shop with parents having to do speech therapy and cheerleading and doing all of these yeah. pieces. You know, the, the ideal team might be the speech pathologist at school, um, the teacher, the parent, and myself, you know, and we're yes. kind of like figuring out what, what do we all bring to this yes. and how can we best support this child? Yes. And I would say hands, there is not one child in my, that comes to my office right now that I'm worried about. They're all awesome. just such confident, wonderful kids. And then is there someone, and we're going to meet, we're going to meet a special guest coming up <laughs> next. Um, is there something like if you're talking to someone in public, like mm -hmm. the guy I was just telling you about, mm -hmm. and then he starts stuttering, is there anything that you should do in public when they realize that they're stuttering? I right. just I just kept on listening to him. I just yeah. you know I didn't say, obviously I'm not going to say anything to him. Yeah. Um, you know there's there's always kind of the list of to do and not to do. Yes. And, yes. Um, from some of my adult friends who stutter, some of the things that always come out are um, you know how forward people are with advice. <laughs> you know kind of like 
oh, you know what? One time I met somebody and they did this vitamin and I think you should do that. Or have you ever heard? And again, because it's low incidence, you know, approximately 1% of the population stutters, it's not something we all have direct experience with. And so we kind of like reach into the, yeah. oh, I know somebody sometime yeah. and I want to tell you a story because that'll probably help you. Yes. Uh, that's probably not the most helpful of those. I encourage uh, people to okay. be patient yes. and not just not say something, but actually with your body, be patient. Because if you're kind of like, uh-huh. I'm uncomfortable, I'm in a hurry, even yep. if you're not saying anything, that's really not a comfortable way to be listening exactly. to that child or person as they're stuck. Yeah, that would um, not be good. So, and, and I can't even imagine. traditionally say, like, slow down, take a breath, you know, relax. There's kind of this uh, group of things that traditionally is said by parents and teachers that yeah. we know now are not the best way to support kids okay. so if you're in Good a situation where that's being yeah. uh if that's kind of the main thing that's happening then we need to get you some more information <laughs> yeah it's but it's is helping all of us so again international sudden awareness day october 22nd and you have brought us a special mm -hmm. guest yeah. miss ola she is so cute she i just want to hug you yes well, tell us about yourself miss ola well um, my name is Ola Shige Alimatu Abikashore, and I am 10 years old, and I'm in fifth grade. I play basketball and soccer. This year, I'm trying out for all the sports except for wrestling and cheerleading. I like to dance and sing, and I love to do art. I've been studying for about three or four years now. So one time in fourth grade, my teacher asked me a math question, and I actually knew the question to it. But uh, I was literally frozen. I couldn't move. I was scared. When when I met Susie, stu when I met Susie, stuttering was easier, like way easier, because before I met her, stuttering was really hard. My uh, mom always told me that I should take a deep breath before I talk, but it didn't really help as much as easy words, slip and slide, and the pauses. Mm -hmm. All right. So awesome. And so. Let's see, What's maybe a, number three. Yeah, number three is good because you were telling us about how hard it was, you know, the first time you realized how stuttering was so hard. So what's the one thing you wish people knew about um, stuttering? Um, I wish people knew if you're at work or school and, and someone is stuttering, be patient, they'll finish. I love it. And what kinds of things do you learn or practice with Susie? Like, where did you start not to stutter? Well, I practice easy words. Okay. Slip and slide. Pauses. Um, you were saying slip and slide. Are those, like, some words that you work with? Because yeah, it's, they're easier to those, say? Uh, well, I could describe an easy word. Yeah, so give us an example. Uh, yeah. Maybe on Slip Central and Valley Talk. Okay. What would it sound like with an easy word? Central Valley Talk. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like easing into it to get it moving. And yeah. a slip and slide would be kind of like, uh-oh, it's stuck. What do yeah. I do? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of sliding out yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of like different plans for am I doing something to try to get it moving easier or am I trying to like figure out like, uh-oh, <laughs> I need a plan. This is not moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you get together with a group? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Oh, okay. So what do you guys do and say well, and work on? Well, sometimes we like write about when stuttering was like hard. Because, like, in the fourth grade, when I went to a group meeting, um, we all ha ha had to, like, write about when studying was hard. Also, I uh, draw a picture about it. So. Mm -hmm. She's kind oh, of like okay, our group cool. artist. <laughs> I know. Um, it sounds like you really like her. She, yeah, she really um, has mastered some of the emotions <laughs> and drawing kind of how stuttering can make you feel uh -huh. and kind of the ups and downs of some days are really hard and some words can get really stuck and then other times it can be fairly easy. Mm -hmm. And I think what's so crazy is that stuttering can be so uh, variable and so kids don't know. Yeah. yeah. And for, I mean, all ages. 
Mm-hmm. So now, what, tell us about the fifth grade student council. Are you running? Or are oh, you in yeah. it? So I ran for vice president. Wow. Um, uh, um, uh, I think last last month. And and then uh, and then and then I had to write a speech. And then people had to like vote for me. Did you have to get up in front of? Was your speech yeah. videotaped wow. and shown, or um, who were you presenting in front of? I was presenting in front of all the fifth graders. Six, that's, oh my God. that's fourth, nerve-wracking as it is. Fourth, fifth, and sixth? Wow, yeah. girl. <laughs> that's so awesome. So are you the vice president? Yes. <gasps> that is so cool. You won. Yeah, and I had to make a poster. And you had to make a poster. Mm-hmm. Well, not only are you good at art, now you're awesome at public speaking. You got up in front of all those kids. Is there, are we yes. going to show a video, Susie? Um, I don't think we ended up having okay, one. Okay, that's all right. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's okay. So we'll, we'll keep on talking. We do Ola have is so cool. plenty of videos on the Facebook page. Okay. Because as students and kids are yes. creating videos, we post okay. them there. So Ola has one about back to school and oh. kind of like her okay. advice to kids on that's cute. transitioning back to school and some things to be thinking about. So where is that? Um, is that is that on Facebook, the Central Valley um, Stuttering Center? If you search Central Valley Stuttering Center on we'll Facebook. We'll get it. Yep. We'll get it. And you could find Ola's amazing video. Mm-hmm. Anything else in conclusion of what you want to say about um, how, you know, kids or adults, anyone should treat you? And um, Well, whoever stutters, it won't go away, but I do know that it, but I do know that it will get better. And uh, that's it. I mean, look at your story. You're amazing. Ola. Yeah. And your what a confidence great story. level. And beautiful eye contact and yeah. smile shows now. Yeah. And it's so amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have we have a test for Adina oh, yeah. that oh. she doesn't even know about. Okay, show me the test. I know what mm-hmm. I want to ask you about those things over there, too. <laughs> you brought all kinds do of we, stuff, Miss Susie. Do we have time for a yeah. few? Do we have time for a test? Okay. Mike's giving us the what's up. Yep. It's a true-false. Okay. And... So, in honor of International Stuttering Awareness Day, these are some facts about stuttering. On October twenty second, and we're gonna see what you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, people stutter in lots of different ways. True. Correct. Um, kids who stutter are re- are regular kids. Yes, true. <laughs> Eating too much candy. Will cause stuttering. No, false. <laughs> yes. I don't know. It might if you're really super hyper and out of control, like my Nico. If you st- if you stand on your head for two hours a day, you can fix your stuttering. Oh, you can fix your stuttering. No, false. <laughs> Correct. I should have just said true. <laughs> Millions of people in America stutter. Yes, true. No, no one knows a magical way to cure stuttering, but researchers are working to find one. Yes, yeah, true. Yes. Let's do like two more. Okay. All kids will grow out of stuttering when they get older. Um, I would say false. Right. Not, not, not all. She's doing good. Okay, last one. Students who stutter can be anything they want to be when they grow up. Yes, of course, true. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Did I pass or what? <laughs> Very good, Ola. Woo. Oh, so now, what are these? Do you hand these out at your center? So, I, like I said, we're a resource center, so we yes. have all kinds of things. Okay. Um, these are just a few of the things. I okay. first want to say thank you to, so my mentor, Kristen Camella in Chicago, has a lot of wonderful resources for speech pathologists. Okay. And so these myths and facts are from one of her resources. Woo, yay. Hey, this is an internet show. Um, she can listen right now. <laughs> She's probably listening right we now, have, live in Chicago. <laughs> we have, the Stuttering Foundation is, um, is a wonderful resource. So, like, there's a lot of, for teachers, there's frequently asked questions, like, do I call on a child? Do yeah. I ask them to read? Do I have them do presentations? Um, there's a lot of things for parents that are now out. Okay. So, um, you know, kind of like, let me just read and find out some things. What are some things I need to be doing or not doing? There's some really great resources out for bullying and stuttering um, to make sure that we're giving our kids the tools to advocate for themselves. Yeah. And not just helping talking 
but working on specific situations that are happening yeah. for that child. Um, and so we just, we have lots of information and I think my, my general kind of message for International Stuttering Awareness Day is that if there's someone who's feeling like they don't have a resource yet, then I encourage them to reach out to somebody. Yes, um, absolutely. To get some information and to help and to feel encouraged and excited and motivated. Yeah, I love it. Well, look at all these resources and the Central Valley Stuttering Center. My friend Susie is, and you just seem like so calm, so knowledgeable, and you're always very calm. <laughs> How can people get a hold of you, Susie, if they would like to reach out yeah, to you? The, I think our Facebook page is is the most up to date in terms of if you're curious kind of what does it look like or I have a okay. child who's you know a little bit uncomfortable with you know what that might look like there's pictures of the groups there's okay. lots of things available there centralvalleystuttering.com the numbers on the screen um, lots of ways to get a hold there of There you go 5599310025 or either facebook or centralvalleystutteringcenter.com um, anything else before we let you go, Susie? Anything else that you want to say? I just want to give Ola a like giant shout out Woo! on being brave and confident. And last week when we were talking about ideas for stuttering awareness, we were talking about teaching people about stuttering. Uh, she was just game right away to be here with me and to help teach everyone about stuttering which is such an incredible thing. So thank I you. love it. You're very brave to go on the air with us, very brave to do the whole vice president and in front of your school and over and overcome stuttering. This is really cool. And I'll be thinking about you <laughs> on October 22nd. I'll definitely plug it on the radio as well. International Stuttering Awareness Day, you, October 22nd. And if anyone has kids, adults, or whatever that could use Susie's help, there's a number, there's a website right there. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. We'll be back, CentralValleyTalk.com.